Hey, Remote Pilot 101 and M0A.com. Jason Schappert here. In this video, we're gonna talk about five flight maneuvers every drone pilot must master. But before that, you know we're giving away a DJI Avada FPV drone. Head over to M0Acontest.com to get signed up and to learn more about all of that. But now, I wanna pass it off to a near and dear friend of mine and a valued M0A team member, I call him Coach Ray. More on that later. Let's see what Coach Ray has to say about five flight maneuvers every drone pilot must master. So this shot requires the camera operator or in this case, the remote pilot, to follow or track the subject along a set pathway. Now, a typical shot like this is following the subject from left to right or right to left while maintaining a level flight and a set altitude. Now, the subject does not always have to be moving as we can see in these shots here. This is still a dolly or tracking shot and while the drone and camera are still moving or tracking along a certain pathway, the subject is remaining stationary. Now, there are many variations of this shot. For instance, we can track the subject that is moving toward us by flying backwards or away from the subject, keeping them, hopefully, in frame and focus. Now, a more complex variation of this maneuver is to track the subject in the same manner from left to right or right to left, but instead of maintaining that set altitude, we are actually climbing or descending while tracking the motion or subject. This requires a bit more skill at the controls and something that needs to be and should be practiced and mastered. So, if your drone is capable of flying pre-programmed GPS waypoints, I highly recommend flying the route, programming the waypoints, and then having the drone fly those points. This allows you, the drone operator, to focus on camera movements and let the drone fly itself. Now remember, always have a plan of action in case the drone does not perform as you're expecting it to. This autopilot waypoint method will largely depend on the environment and what is being asked of you, the drone pilot, to perform. The reveal shot. We typically see this at the beginning of a movie, TV, documentaries, and scattered throughout all kinds of productions as a way to add suspense, introduce the start of a scene, maybe a change of location, and it just really adds a creative dynamic to your production. So, there are many variations of this type of shot. It can be as simple as flying the drone straight up or down to reveal an action, subject, or landscape scene. We can also fly the drone towards the subject or action with the camera pointed straight up or down. Now, as you fly towards or away from the subject, you can slowly pan the camera up or down accordingly. So, as you can see, the reveal shot is actually a hybrid maneuver combining a variety of control inputs for both the drone and the camera. Now, as you may have guessed, this is an advanced move, but I promise you if you can master it, you will be called back for future filming jobs. The overhead shot is one of my favorite shots and it's easy to perform with a little practice. To start this maneuver, your camera should be pointed towards the ground or the subject matter. You will then push the left control stick forward slowly to increase the altitude of the drone to display the subject in the contrasting background along with it. This is another common technique used in the reveal shot as well. Now, while you can experiment the speed at which you fly the drone upward, I suggest focusing on a smooth, steady climb and keeping the subject matter in the center of the frame. This is one of the most challenging parts of the overhead shot, especially if windy conditions exist. If you want to vary the speed at which the drone goes up or down, you can do that in post-production. A nice variation of the overhead shot is to add a little bit of movement by following the subject with the camera pointed down 
as the subject moves forwards, backwards, left or right. Another very common shot that is simple but has a few variations is the panning shot. And this shot is one of the more simplistic drone maneuvers to master, but it can provide a great addition to your flight tool bag. So, to perform a panning shot, the drone will hover in a stationary position. While in a hover position, you will simply rotate or yaw the camera gimbal along the Z axis. Now, if your drone camera does not have a rotating gimbal option, you can keep the drone in a hover position and rotate the drone itself from left to right or right to left on the Z axis. We can also pan our camera up or down while the drone is in a hover to get a variety of panning effects as well. To add a variation of this shot, you can fly the drone forward or backwards while panning the camera itself up or down. Now, this is a common technique that is used in the reveal shot, which we mentioned in the earlier part of the video. So as you can see, some of these shots kind of intertwine with the techniques that are being used. All right, the final maneuver is a well-known maneuver and definitely one you should have in your flight bag at all times, but it does require a little bit of finesse. That maneuver is, of course, the orbital shot. So if you're in manned aviation, this is simply turns around a point, and we all know how easy and fun those can be. So the object of this maneuver is to keep the subject in frame, hopefully in focus, and the same distance from the camera at all times. Now, as you might have already inferred, there are multiple variations of this shot. We can fully orbit around the subject, keeping a set altitude and distance as mentioned above. We can also fly towards the subject or away from the subject while orbiting around it. This requires moving both left and right controls in the opposite direction. Now, if you really want to add some excitement to this maneuver, you can pan the camera up or down while orbiting the object. For this, I highly recommend programming GPS waypoints for the drone to fly itself so you can focus on more important things like that perfect camera shot. Now, there are also a number of effects and tricks you can perform in post-production to make those orbiting shots really stand out. One of those, as we can see in this shot, is to start slowly orbiting the subject, then speed the shot up quickly, and then finally bring it back to normal speed. This is a great way to add dynamic to your video and draw the viewer in, as well as create some pretty cool transitions. So what'd you guys think of Coach Ray? He's, he's a pretty cool guy, pretty cool guy. I call him Coach Ray. Back to the whole two watch thing, that's Ken Heron's fault, but it's also kind of Coach Ray's fault. Coach Ray was my marathon coach, and that's why I was wearing a fitness watch and a dress watch, and then Ken Heron just took it and ran with it. Hey, one last time, m0acontest.com to get signed up to win the new DJI Avada FPV drone. Some videos of us flying, unboxing all that coming out here soon as well. Get signed up for that. Have a blessed, abundant rest of your day. And most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you.